All right, guys, happy Monday evening. I hope everyone is enjoying some of this beautiful weather. I just got back from a nice run with my dog, Bo. We had a good three mile run up through Rockville, had a good time. All right, so as always, welcome to Village Yoga. This is uh, my Monday night class. This has been a fun class on the schedule for years. I've had it for years. Again, one of my favorite ones to teach, lots of energy. Um, if you wanna start music, go ahead and start your music on now. If you wanna start a candle, or um, anything else to get you in the mood to do some yoga, maybe a diffuser, whatever you're up for, that's great. Um, you can find us online. My daughter Rachel is working really hard to make sure we all stay connected. She's doing a really good job with the Instagram and the Facebook. So find us on Facebook, Village Yoga Potomac. Find us on Instagram, Village Yoga Yogi. Um, we're donation based. You guys know what I'm saying about donation. If you can, do it. If you can't, come and do some yoga anyway. All right, let's, um, let's start in child's pose. So take the knees nice and wide, let the heart come down towards the mat. Pull the belly in nice and tight. So you want to extend your arms forward and you want to feel the whole upper thoracic spine starting to get some length. Maybe on your forehead to start here. If you can come onto your chin, go ahead and come onto your chin. If that doesn't feel good, go back to your forehead. Waggle that touch a little bit left and right, just starting to get some blood into the hip sockets. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Take the left hand all the way to the left side of the mat. Put the right hand on top of it. Finding a nice side stretch here. Breathe. And let's come back to center. And then let's go to the other side and breathe. And let's come back to center. Good, come up on your hands and your knees. Exhale into a cat tilt. Roll the spine up nice and high, check out your tummy. Inhale into a cow, bring that heart forward. Again, exhale, cat. And inhale, cow. Again, exhale, cat. And inhale, cow. Good, come back to neutral spine. Let's stand up on our knees. Let's take our right foot out nice and wide. Breathe. Right hand, palm facing up, reach it towards the side wall. Left hand's on your hip. Just reach up and over, create length, breathe. Let's extend the left arm parallel to the right. If you need to drop this hand down, you absolutely could. If you can keep it here, keep it here. Good, come back up to center. Good, drop the right hand down somewhere around the knee, not really on the knee. Let's stretch this other way, breathe. Yeah, let's come back the other side, breathe. And one more back to the right and breathe. And come back to center. Good, let's drop that right knee down. Left foot out. The hip socket over knee. Let's stretch, breathe. Again, if you can take the arm parallel, awesome. If you need to drop it down, drop it down. And let's come up and over. And back to the other side. And one more time back to the left. And let's come back to hands and knees. All right, nice circular motions, anything round and round, and round and round, and round and round. Good, right foot straight back, left hand forward. Elbow to knee, reach it back, and again, and reach it back. One more time, and reach it back. Good, bend the knee, see if you can reach back and find that ankle, drive the toe up and back, let the heart come forward, kick and breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Good, release that foot straight back. Base the left hand down, peel the right hand high. If you need to drop this back leg down the mat, by all means do so. If you can keep it elevated, keep it elevated. If you wanna bend the knee and grab the ankle, bend the knee, grab the ankle, kick into a back bend. Two breath here, one breath here, and release. Hand and knee, nice circular motions, anything round and round, and round and round, and round and round. All right, let's try the other side. Left foot straight back. Right hand forward. Again, elbow to knee and reach it back. And elbow to knee and reach it back. One more time and reach it back. Good, bend the knee, see if you can reach back and find that ankle. Drive the toe up back, let the heart come forward, breathe. Head up, heart forward, kick, kick, kick. One more breath, good. Release the left foot straight back. Again, you could drop it down to the ground. Peel the left hand high. If you can pick it up, pick it up. If you can bend the knee and grab the ankle, bend the knee, grab the ankle. Kick into a back bend. Two breath here. 
one breath here and release the hand, release the knee. Nice circular motions, anything round and round and round and round and round and round. All right, curl the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Let the heels come down towards the mat, pull the belly in nice and tight, breathe nice and easy here, two big breath. One more breath. Good, let's take the right foot up high to the sky. <clears throat> Step the right foot forward and through, drop the left knee down to the mat, inhale the hands up high to the sky, Anjali Asana. Lift the heart up with the head roll back and breathe. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Good, release the hands down to the knee. Curl the back toe under and drive the back knee up off the mat. And then take the hands back to the high, high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. Big inhale, exhale and twist, left hand forward, right hand back. Inhale, high lunge. Again, exhale and twist. Good, inhale, high lunge. Last time, exhaling and twist. Drop the left hand down to the mat, right hand to the sky, engage your belly away from your thigh, reach long through the back leg, drive through the heel. Two breath here. One more breath here. Good, release that hand down the mat, step the left foot forward, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward, fold. Hang heavy here. Pull the belly in tight, feel the crown of the head drive down towards the toes. Two more breath. One more breath. And let's inhale the hands up high to the sky. And hands come down into prayer. One more big breath here. Good. Let's inhale the hands up high to the sky. Sit down into chair, Ukatasan. Set the shoulders down, bellies tight, core's engaged. Forward, forward, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward, fold. Let's step back into plank, nice and strong into plank. Long from heels to crown of head. Belly's tight, core's engaged. Chaturanga, maybe all the way to the mat. Baby cobra or an upward facing dog. And up and over the toes, downward facing dog. Two breath here. One more breath here. Left foot goes high to the sky. Step the left foot forward and through. Drop the right knee down to the mat. Inhale the hands up high to the sky, Anjali Asana. Lift the heart up with the head roll back. Look at your thumbs. Breathe. Two breath here. One more breath here. Good. Release the hands down to the knee. Curl your right toe under. Drive your right knee up off the mat. Good. Hands to the high, high lunge. Big inhale, exhale and twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, high lunge. Again, and twist. Inhale, high lunge. Last time, man, twist. Good. Drop the right hand to the mat, left hand to the high, engage your belly away from your thigh, reach long through the back leg, drive through the heel. Two big breath. One more breath. And release that hand down the mat. Step the right foot forward, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. <clears throat> Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Sit down in the chair. Set the shoulders down, belly's tight, core's engaged. Let the weight rock into the toes, let the weight rock into the heels and sit down just a touch lower. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop step, jump back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low, push up. Upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, right foot goes high to the sky. Point the toe, roll the hip up and bend the knee. Two big circles with that knee in one direction. And two big circles with that knee in the other direction. Good, step the right foot forward and through right into warrior two. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Let's straighten this front leg, shorten your stance. Cock your pelvis, reach this right hand way forward. Drop it somewhere down below the knee. Left hand to the high. Breathe nice and easy here. Look up at your top thumb. Draw into that hip socket. Feel the outside edge of the back foot. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Good, let's bend into that knee warrior too. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And carpal the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa high to low push up. Upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. We're just going to get some blood pump in here. Left foot goes high to the sky. Point, point the toe, roll the hip open, bend the knee. Two big circles with that knee in one direction. And two big circles with that knee in the other direction. Step the left foot forward and through right into warrior two. 
All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Straighten that left leg this time, shorten that stance, reach cock and tilt right into Trikonasana triangle pose. Drop the hand somewhere down below the knee. Look up at your top thumb, spread the fingers wide. Draw from the left heel into the hip socket, reach to the outside edge of that back foot. Two more breath. One more breath. And warrior two. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's cover the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa, high to low, push up. Upward facing dog, and let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more big breath here. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hop or step forward, forward fold. Top of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Take your feet about a fist width apart, peace fingers, grab your big toes and pull your heart down towards your thighs. Let the elbows splay away from each other. Neck is neutral. Start straightening the legs, press the hamstrings back. Two more breath here. One more breath here. And release, inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Let's sit down in the chair. All right, hands come into prayer. So feet, toes are almost touching. Heels can be slightly apart. Hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, left elbow, right knee. So if you're not in that full twist, I'm gonna take it between my legs. If I twist really hard, I'll get a tough time talking. Rotating through, breathe, pull the belly in tight. Two more breath. One more breath. Good, forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Again, sit down in the chair. Hands come back into prayer. Prayer twist, right elbow, left knee. Rotating through, breathe. Draw your thumbs towards heart center, spread the back wide. Two big breath here. One more breath here. And forward fold, hands down to the mat. Good, inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa, high to low push up. Upward facing dog. Let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, right foot goes high to the sky. Reach it up nice and high. Knee to the nose, round your spine. And let's extend it back. And again, and extend it back. Good, step the right foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come nice and high. We're squared up towards this front wall. Let's swing the arms down and back. Really square yourself here. Feel the left hip rotate forward down. Draw the right hip back. Front knees over front ankle. Feel the outside edge of the back foot. Extend the arms forward. Push yourself up into a perfect warrior one. Again, exhale, swing the arms down and back. Chest almost to thigh. Extend the arms forward from your core. Push yourself up, warrior one. Let's straighten this front leg. Shorten your stance just a touch. Really square your hips up. Hands can come to your hips. Holding over and finding pyramid pose. Let your heart come down towards your thighs. Breathe nice and easy here. Feel the left hip rotate forward and down. Draw the right hip up and back. If you need blocks here, grab your blocks if you haven't already. We're going to be here three more breath. Two more breath. One more breath. Good, left hand to the mat, right hand to the sky, coming into a revolved triangle. Feel the rotation through. Try to look towards this, the right side wall. One more big breath here. And release that hand down. Walk your fingertips forward, cast your left leg off. And then return the left hand, the right hand to the sky, going into a revolved half moon. Two big breath here. One more breath. Good, big step back, open up warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's straighten this front leg, keep reaching towards the back wall. Come up onto the heel of the front foot, create length. Drop that foot down, find warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Carve with the hands down, set the foot back, let's take a vinyasa, high to low. Upward facing dog. And let's roll on back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Two big breath here. One more big breath here. All right, left foot goes high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Knee to the nose, round your spine. Extend it back. And again, and extend it back. Step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. We're squared up towards this front wall. Exhale, swing the arms down and back, chest almost to thigh. Really square yourself up. Extend the arms forward, push yourself up, warrior one. Again, exhale, swing the arms down and back. Extend the arms forward from your core, push yourself up, warrior one. 
Straighten your left leg, shorten your stance. Let's fold over our front thigh. Rotating forward and down, breathe. So feel that right hip rotate forward and down. Draw the left hip up and back. Two more big breath here. Good. One more big breath here. All right, right hands to the mat, left hands to the sky coming into a revolved triangle. Breathe. Draw the left hip back, rotate the bottom rib cage. So you look towards the side wall, gazes up at that top thumb, last two breath. One more breath and release that hand down. Walk your fingertips forward, cast your right leg off. Return the left hand to the sky. Strong through the back leg, feel the rotation through. One more big inhale. Exhale, step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, stay in reverse warrior. Straighten your front leg. Maybe come up onto the heel, create leg through the side bodies. And warrior two. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cartwheel the hands down, step the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. One more breath. All right, right foot goes high to the sky. Let's point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. If you wanna flip your dog this evening, go ahead and drop that foot down, pick the right hand up, find a nice beautiful arcing back, then let the head roll back, breathe. One more big breath here. Come back to a down dog split. Step the right foot forward and through right into warrior two. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Extended side angle. So we're back to this extended side angle. Right elbow down, left hand up over the head, breathe. Let's go ahead and take a half bind, drop the hand down behind the back, rotate the shoulder open. So from here, you can slide this elbow inside the knee. From here, it's either hand of the heart, Modified half bind. Hand finds the other hand, elbow in front of the knee, three quarter bind. If you have full bind, go full bind. Gazes up over that top shoulder, two big breath here. One more breath here. Good, warrior two. Straighten the leg, turn your toes towards the side wall, inhale the hands up high to the sky. Nice wide leg forward, fold all the way down. So if you left yourself enough room around you and you have a controlled inversion of a headstand, go headstand. If that's not in your cards today, just let the head come down towards the mat. Allison's a great rotation. She's got the crown of the head kissing the mat. Her forearms are down on the mat. She has full rotation through the pelvis. There's nothing else she needs to do. If you're in that headstand, just relax. Reach the feet up towards the ceiling, trying to pull the crown of the head off that mat lightly. You're feeling like it's getting lighter on the crown of the head. Headstanders start to make your way down. We meet down in a wide leg forward fold. Good work, everyone. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Warrior two, front wall. Swivel turn, bend into your right leg. Flick the palm, reverse the warrior. Pull the hands down, stepping back into Vashi Stasana. Left hand to the mat, right hand to the high. Open it up. So Allison dropped the knee down. If you want to stack the feet, that's great. If you have another variation, a toe lock or a tree, you're welcome to take that. One more big breath here. Release that hand down the mat. Take your vinyasa to down dog. High to low push up. Upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more big breath here. All right, left foot goes high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Point the toe. Roll the hip open and bend the knee. Feel the hip stack. If you want to flip your dog, flip your dog. Drop it down. Find a nice, beautiful back bend here. Breathe. You'll start looking for the floor. Allison, rotate all the way over to the wheel. Let's come back into a down dog split. Left foot's high. Step the left foot forward and three right into warrior two. So we're long and strong here. Breathe. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Good, all right, back into that extended side angle. Left elbow down and the right hand up over the head, breathe. So from here, once you feel solid and square, drop the top hand behind the back and take a half bind. If you wanna go into a deeper bind, you can go modified half bind, Allison went three quarter bind. Modified half bind, I would just be here, elbow inside the knee, heart open. If you have full bind, marry the arms up on the back side of the thigh, mid thigh. Try not to grind, bind at the groin. Two more breath here. 
One more breath here. And warrior two. Straighten your left leg, turn your toes towards the side wall. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Again, exhale forward, fold all the way down. All right, chance for an inversion here again, if that's something you do. If you're not inverting, just let the head come down towards the mat. Grab the ankles, calves, or feet. So the first stage, you could take it into tripod. If you want to try to extend up, Allison went up into full expression. Headstand, tripod headstand. Let's take two more breath here. Let's take one more breath here. All right, headstanders, make your way down. We meet down in a forward fold. Fantastic. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. And warrior two front wall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down, stepping back, Vashi stops on the right hand of the mat, left hand of the sky. Open it up and breathe. Look up at your top thumb. Two more breath here. Big inhale. Exhale that hand down to the mat. Let's take a vinyasa to down dog. High to low, push up. Upward facing dog and roll back downward facing dog. So if one shoulder's a little tweaky and that side plank doesn't feel good, drop the knee down. The other side feels okay and you want to not drop the knee down on that side, that's fine as well. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hop or step forward, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, and hands come down into prayer. Good, weight shifts into your foot, left foot, ankle, calf, or groin, fine tree. So you can be just below the knee. You could be almost foot at floor. I don't want you on the knee. Here's a bad place, all right? If you want to go higher than the calf, go completely above the knee. Release the hands to the high, set the shoulders down, and breathe. Let's take two more breath here. Good, let's take one more breath here. Okay, let's drop this left hand to the left knee. Bring the knee forward, snatch the ankle, stand up tall. So I'm gonna draw the knees together and release my quad to start. I'll start with a kick and a reach, and then I'll start to tilt. The kick and the reach are opposing each themselves. Breathe nice and easy here. Holding here for four, for three, for two, for one, and release. Good. Shake them out. Good. Breathe nice and easy here. All right. Let the weight start shifting into that left foot. Again, you could be like a kickstand right here. The next stage is calf. From the calf, if you want to go above the knee, you have to go completely above the knee to the groin. Hands to the high when you're ready. You could stay right here in tree, just finding your power, finding your balance. If you want to play, right hand down. Bring the knee forward, snatch the ankle, stand up tall. Draw your knees together, start with a kick, and then a reach and a tilt. Holding it here for four, for three, for two, for one, and release. Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky, and then exhale forward, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale forward, fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa high to low, push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breaths. One more breath. All right, let's take the right foot up nice and high to the sky. Right knee, right tricep. Just tap the tricep and then take it back to a down dog split. Take it over and tap the left tricep and take it back to a down dog split. Step the right foot forward and through right into high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. Breathe. Hands come into prayer. So once we commit to moving into warrior three, we're not stopping till we get to warrior three. Not after the pose, not before the pose. Let the weight shift in this right leg, cast your left leg off, and keep moving till you find a beautiful warrior three. Now, think about your left hip. Roll it down a little bit and reach to the left heel. Bend your right knee just a smidge. Neck is neutral, hold it here for three. Now straighten that right leg, reach through the left heel for two. Long through your spine for one. Good, step back, high lunge. Hands go high to the sky. All right, this time we're gonna bring the hands back into prayer. So we're gonna use the motion of splitting the arms to take us into a half moon. So as the weight shifts forward, we split the arms and we rotate up and we look to the side wall, finding half moon. Give it a try. Again, stopping at the posture, strong through the back leg, drive through the heel, holding it here for four, for three, for two, for one, step back, warrior two. Let the palm reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down, set the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, 
upward facing dog. And then let's roll back to a downward facing dog. So momentum can completely be your friend in yoga, but you can't overuse momentum. You have to use the right amount and you have to control it. All right, left foot high to the sky. Left knee, left tricep, just tap it and then send it back. Good, take it over the right tricep, just tap it and send it back. Good, step the left foot forward and through, inhale up into high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. Set the shoulders down. So I got a big, heavy, dense chest area up here. If I throw too much of my weight forward, hands can come into prayer. I'm not gonna find that warrior three with control. But if I control myself into the posture, let the weight shift, find that warrior three. Keep moving till you find warrior three. Micro bend the left knee, rotate the right hip down, reach to the right heel, neck is neutral, holding here for four, for three, for two, for one, step back, high lunge. Good, breathe. Hands come back into prayer. So what's gonna help you rotate open is the splitting of the arms. So let the weight shift again, split the arms, rotate open, start looking towards that side wall, breathe. Hold it here for four, for three, for two, for one, good, step back, warrior two. Fantastic, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's cartwheel the hands down, step the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog, and let's roll back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breaths. One more breath. All right, right foot goes high to the sky, reach up nice and high. Let's step that right foot forward and through, inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice high. We're in this warrior one. Good. The next exhale is warrior two, back wall, swivel turn. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Half moon, weight shifts into this left leg, cast your right leg off, find half moon, start visualizing high lunge, still facing the wall you're facing now. The step back is high lunge. You're facing the back of the mat. Big inhale, exhale, and twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. Drop the right hand down the mat, left hand to the sky. Engage through the back heel. Let's extend the left arm up over the head, palm facing down. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Good. Pull back into your right hip socket, skandhasana. Left hip socket, skandhasana. Good. Warrior two, front wall. Good. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Carve with the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog. Let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> All right, left foot goes high to the sky. Step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. We're here. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior two, back wall. Let the palm reverse the warrior. And warrior two, half moon. Let the weight shift, find it. Breathe. Hold it here. Two more breath. One more breath. Good, step back, high lunge, still facing that back wall. Big inhale, exhale, and twist. Left hand forward, right hand back. Drop the left hand down to the mat, right hand to the high. Engage the right hand up over the head, palm facing down. Keep your right knee in tight. One more breath here. Good, pull back into your left hip socket, skandhasana. Right hip socket, skandhasana. Warrior two, front wall. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Car with the hands down, set the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe, two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hopper step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Good, sit down into chair. Strong your stance here, breathe nice and easy. Let the weight rock into the toes, let the weight rock in the heels and sit down a little bit lower. Let's draw the heels up off the mat and sink down a little bit lower, breathe. Little lower, breathe. Good, forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Good, heel toe your feet out nice and wide. Sink into yogic squat. So you could just be here, just trying to rock yourself back and forth. My hips are a little tight this evening. 
Probably should have run after or earlier this morning. Just breathe here. So if you want to play with crow and you have crow, take crow. If you're newer to crow, step your feet together. I make a V with my feet. As my hands come down towards the mat, I feel my knees come to the, just to the outside of the arms. Bend the elbows just a touch, let the weight shift forward to the toes, feel light, and they float up off the mat. Take in crow. Try to hold it for three breath, for two breath, for one breath. Good, rock back, relax for a second, breathe. Find that squat again. Juice up those hip sockets. All right, let's try it one more time. Hands down. Now this time, the knees may become a little higher, maybe a little more behind the triceps. Let the weight shift forward, find your crow. Breathe. Feel the lift up, strong through your spine. Good. When you're ready, make your way back through a vinyasa to down dog. Nice jump back, Alice. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breaths. One more breath. All right, let's go right foot up high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Feel the hip stack. So let's step that right foot forward and through right into warrior two. So let's just take the right hand down inside the right ankle, left hand high, and then back up to warrior two. And again, right hand down, left hand high. Hold it here, breathe. Last breath. Good, warrior two. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve the hands down both sides of this front right foot, drop the left knee down to the mat, straighten your right leg, half split. If you have full split, go full split. Breathe nice and easy here. Pull the belly in tight, lengthen that right leg. If you have full split, drive that foot forward. Feel the bottom come down towards the mat. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more big breath here. One more big breath here. All right, let's bend into the front knee. Power up your back leg. Step your left foot forward to meet your right forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Sit down in a chair. Hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, left elbow, right knee. If you want to split your arms, split your arms. So from the split arms, you could stay there. If you want to drop in a side crow, drop in a side crow. So your right knee will come to your left elbow, the weight will shift forward. You can keep the legs together tonight. Do we pata? Breathe nice and easy here. Good, forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Big step back with the left foot, left hand of the mat, right hand of the sky. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. One more breath here. Release the right hand down to the mat, send the right foot back, down dog split. Right foot back, down dog split. Step the right foot to the outside of the right wrist, coming into lizard pose, forearms down to the mat. So again, this back knee could be up or down. If you need some blocks, go ahead and get some blocks here and try to get the forearms down. If you can pick the back knee up from time to time, pick it up, but let's just breathe here. Maybe roll to the knife side's edge of this right foot, letting the hip socket open, breathe. Two more big breath here. One more breath here. Good. And releasing into a variation if you want to play with it. So maybe you just go stay where you are. Maybe you're going to Kundiana, a lizard split a bind. So for that Kundiana, I'll take my back leg about parallel to the short edge of the mat. This right knee comes to the right elbow. I just get the weight forward. I bring the weight forward. The knees are bent and I just try to pick this back leg up. Okay. Baby Kundiana. Allison's going into full expression. Thank you, Allison. Pressing back with your forearms into forearm plank. Breathe. Long through the core. Let your heart come forward. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. One more breath. All right, let's tiptoe forward into dolphin. If you want to take a foot to the high, take a foot to the high. 
If you're in a safe area and you have pinching myrosin with ease, feel free to take pinching myrosin with ease. Forearm plank, I mean forearm stand. And drop the knees down to the mat, child's pose. Breathe. Take a few breaths here, breathing nice and easy. Let the tush come back towards the here, heels. One more breath. All right, let's come up on turn knees while we're here. So we're gonna play with the back bend here. When we come through on the other side, we'll play with a twist. So for here, my tailbone starts neutral. So take your hands to your hips, tuck your tailbone till it's neutral. So if I do too much, I'll start to round my shoulder. That's getting into what rounded spine. Come back to neutral. If I stick my tush out too far, I start going back bend. So here, neutral. Push the pelvis forward. Start to lift the heart up. Let the torso take you into this back bend. Then release the hands down, maybe towards the ankles, calves, or feet. Push the pelvis forward. Lift the heart up. Take three breaths here. Take two breaths here. Take one more breath here and release child's pose. Good work. Let's take another breath or two here. All right, let's try one more time. Come back up onto those knees. Again, start with your tailbone neutral. The pelvis starts to push forward. The heart starts to lift up. The head rolls back, and then the hands drop down towards those feet. Feet could be flat down on the mat like Allison's got them. Toes could be curled, up, curled under, so the heels are a little bit higher. One more breath here. And release. Good. Drop into child's pose. Let's snake all the way forward onto our bellies, all the way forward onto your bellies. Hands go straight back towards the back wall. Let's inhale up into Shalambhasana. Everything comes up. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Holding here for four, for three, for two, for one. Release down. Turn your cheek to that. Waggle that tush left and right, left and right, left and right. right let's try that again. Inhale. Everything comes up. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Holding here for four, for three. For two, for one, release down, turn your cheek the other way, waggle that twist left and right and left and right. All right, hands come to the sides of the chest, push up and back, downward facing dog. Left foot goes high to the sky, point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Step the left foot forward and through right into warrior two. All right, left hand down inside the ankle, right hand high. Now let's go back to warrior two. Again. And back to warrior two. Let's flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Carl the hands down both sides of that left foot. Drop the right knee down to the mat. Straighten your left leg this time. Half or full split. Curl the toe back towards you. Let your heart come down towards that left thigh. My nose comes just to the inside of the knee. Crown of the head is reaching towards the right big, the left big toe. Let's take a few more breaths here. If you have that full split, drive forward and find that. Last two breaths. Last big breath. All right, bending into that front knee, power up your back leg. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Sit down into chair. All right, hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, right elbow, left knee. So again, maybe just split the arms. You could stay right here, shine your heart towards the sidewall and breathe. If you're dropping into side crow, roll up onto the balls of your feet. Drop your hands down. Let your right knee come to your, that left knee come to the right elbow. Just feel the weight come forward until the feet float up off the mat. Holding here for three, for two, for one, and release. Forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Big step back with the right foot, right hand to the mat, left hand to the sky, nice easy twist. Engage your belly away from your thigh, reach long through the back leg, drive through the heel. Look up at your top thumb. Feel the rotation through. One more big breath here. And let's release that hand down to the mat. Send the left foot back down, dog split. Step the left foot to the outside of the left wrist, finding um, lizard on that left side. Forearms come down, breathe. So again, you could stay here just working on that. 
So if you're trying to find that balance, I'm gonna turn sideways this time. So if my mat was going long ways, this back leg is about parallel to the short edge of the mat. I bring this knee up high on the tricep as the weight shifts forward. I try to just pick this back leg up and then I can think about extending them, okay? So work to your variation, maybe lizard split, maybe a bind, maybe that kundiana, maybe baby kundiana. Hold it here for three, two, for one. Press into the forearm, send your leg back into forearm plank. Breathe nice and easy here. Bring your heart forward, reach through your heels at the same time as you bring that heart forward. Create length of your spine. Last big breath. Good, tiptoe forward into dolphin. Again, if you want to take a foot to the high dolphin split, if you want to kick into pinching my rasana, kick on up and find pinching my rasana. Choice is yours. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. One more breath. Good knees and mat child's pose. Breathe. All right, let's come up onto our hands and our knees. So we're gonna go right hand below the face, left hand to the sky. Feel the twist through, breathe. Shoot the left arm down and through, come down onto that shoulder, palm facing up. You can extend the right arm up over the head. You could step that right foot out or keep the right knee just where it is. Breathe here, look towards the side wall, look up underneath your right armpit. Hips are squared forward. The rotation is from the torso. Pull the belly in tight and drive the left rib cage through. Last two breath. Last one breath. And let's unwind. Come back onto all fours. Good. All right, left hand down. Right hand's high. Shoot the right arm down and through. Come down onto that shoulder, palm facing up. Again, extend the left arm up over the head. Reach through the right hand and draw the right rib cage through. Hips are squared forward. Breathe. You could step this left foot out if you'd like or keep it right next to the right. Let's take a few breaths here. Last two breaths. Last one breath. And let's unwind coming back onto all fours. Breathe nice and easy. Nice circular motion with the body. Anything round and round. All right, let's push up and back to a downward facing dog. Take the right foot up high to the sky. Take the right knee to the right wrist. And let's find pigeon on that right side, resting pigeon. So maybe you take a block like me, it's underneath this tush. Try to bring the shin forward. Walk your hands forward and down. Try to get the, forward, the head down towards the mat. Try to extend the arms long. Breathe. We're gonna be here a good minute. So just relax into your pigeon. Feel the left hip rotate forward and down. Draw the right hip slightly back. Extend the arms forward and breathe. With every breath, think of creating length through the spine. If you start feeling pressure into an area, into a hip socket, into a, a muscle, just relax that muscle, relax the mind, and just let it go long. Try not to fidget, just breathe. Three more breaths here. Two more breaths. Last big breath. All right, let's walk the hands back towards the hips. You can curl the left toe under, send the right foot back down dog, split, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out and put it on down. Left foot high, left knee, left wrist, pigeon on that left side. Again, maybe use a block, maybe you don't need it. Walk the hands forward and down, breathe. So my left hip flexor is a lot more cooperative than my right. There's nothing wrong with that. Just let it be. You're gonna be here a good minute, so you're just starting to get into the posture. What can you go longer with? Maybe release the arms completely forward.
reach through the right leg, rotate the right hip down, draw the left hip slightly back, pull the belly in tight, walk your hands forward just a touch more. Last three breath here. Last two breath here. Last big breath here. All right, let's walk the hands back, find a little back bend. When you're ready, curl the right toe under, send the left foot back down, dog split. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And put it on down. All right, come all the way through onto your tush, both feet forward. All right, good work tonight, guys. Let's start with Baddha Konasana. So if you get the knees out nice and wide, sit up tall. Pull the belly in tight, set your shoulders down, breathe. So think about the crown of the head directly over your tailbone. Close the ribs slightly. Pull the belly in tight. Now just think, knees away from each other. Everything's still stacked. Breathe, knees away from each other. Maybe you start to see the bottom of your feet a little bit. Breathe. So they're just curling open. Breathe, but keep the crown of the head straight over the tailbone. Big inhale. On the exhale, now hinge forward to drop your elbows in front of your shins. Pull your heart forward. Some of you will walk your hands completely forward and put your heart all the way down onto your toes. The rest of us will just keep our elbows trying to get to the front of these shins and breathe. Let's take a few breaths here. Relax, create length. Two more breaths. One more breath. And let's come up. Good. All right. Let's release both feet forward. Remove the flesh from the sits bone, sitting up nice and tall. Don't be afraid if your knees have a little bend. I have really tight hip flexors. So I'll start with a little bend and hinge forward, Pashivottanasana. After a breath or two, I might start to strengthen them and lengthen them. If that still doesn't work for me, I'll keep them bent. This goal is long spine, neck neutral, belly tight. Let's hold here for five more breaths. Three more breath. Last two breath. And last one breath. And let's come up. Good. Left foot comes in the groin. I'm sorry, right foot comes in the groin. Left foot is long. Let's fold towards that left foot. Couple breath here. Two more breath. One more breath. Let's come up. All right, switch legs. Forward fold towards that right leg. Let's take a few more breath here. Last two breath, last one breath. And let's come back to the center. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna wanna do is let's grab this right foot with two hands. So the next stage would be, baby. Allison's gonna rotate open and kick it up. If you don't have it, take your right and then just rotate open. Maybe you grab the foot and rotate open. Now try to sit up tall. Good, and then release it down. Good, switch legs. So what we're trying to do here is get the feeling of the rotation of the hip socket. So some of you have the rotation of the hip socket. It's the shoulder rotation that that compass gives you a hard time with. Stir the pot. Cradle the baby. If you have floor compass, left shoulder goes inside the knee. This hand stays on the foot. I kick open. That's going to hurt me. What do I do? I grab my foot. I rotate open. I try to step tall. Maybe I'm at toe lock. Maybe one side is a little more cooperative than the other. Maybe not. Breathe. Sit up tall for three, for two, for one, and release it down. Good. All the way under your backs. All 
Hug the knees into the chest, rock gently side to side. Just breathe nice and easy here. Let's drop both knees down to the right side. Look to the left. Just feel the rotation through, breathe. Maybe your right hand pulls that left knee down just a touch more, but keep both shoulder blades flat down on the mat. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Feel the hip sockets, just relax. Breathe. And let's come back up. Back up through center. Let's drop the other one. Again, left hand might draw the right knee down. Keep both shoulder blades down. Look towards your right thumb. Your right hand's reaching towards the right side, palm facing up. Breathe. Let's take a few breaths here. Last two breath, last one breath. And let's come back to the center. All right, so we're gonna do two back bones. If you wanna do bridge, just push the pelvis up. Maybe a block supports your lower back and you'll find a supported bridge or bridge. If you wanna go wheel, go wheel. Choice is yours, bridge or wheel. Push the pelvis up and breathe. Let's take four breath here. Three more breath. Last one. And release down. Windshield wiper those knees left and right and left and right. All right, second one. Bridge your wheel. Push them up. Breathe. Again, take like four to five breaths here. Drive the pelvis up. Maybe if you're in that bridge, bring the shoulders a little bit closer together. If you're in wheel, try to straighten the arms a little bit. Find a nice arch. Drive the pelvis up. Hold it here for four, for three, for two, for one. Release down, hug the knees into the chest, rock gently side to side. All right, if you want to take your feet back up over your head into a shoulder stand, you can do that. If you'd rather play with a headstand or a handstand, you can play with that. Whatever posture you're in the mood to play with, Allison's setting up to go shoulder stand. She can take a little bit of pressure off her neck by using that blanket. Her feet will kick up over the head. Hands support the lower back still, and then she takes the legs high. Okay? If you're going into your headstand, take your headstand. So for headstand, you want to think about most of the pressure's from the wrist to the forearms. Hands are interlocked, crown of the head's down, breathe. You tiptoe forward, you take one foot up high, and then you press into the forearms till you take the legs high and breathe. You'll hold here for five or six breaths. release whenever you're ready take a few breaths if you're in shoulder stand take the feet back up or head into plow if you're in that headstand when you come down hit child's pose from plow bed your knees around your ears deaf man's pose hold here for a breath or two from child's pose come onto your backs from deaf man's just roll forward one vertebrae at a time till you meet us on our backs we all meet on our backs breathe when the legs Reach down to the ground, hands come up underneath the bum. Lift the heart up, let the head roll back. Let's find fish pose, Matsyatsana. Lift the heart up, let the head roll back and breathe. So try to point your toes towards the, the wall in front of you and pick your legs about six inches off the mat. Hold it there for three, for two, for one. Please. Hug the knees into the chest, rock gently side to side. Right hands on the right knee, left hands on the left. Circle the knees away from each other and back together and away from each other and back together, and away from each other and back together. Get three in the other direction, and two, and one. Grab the outsides of the feet, pull the knees down towards the armpits, happy baby. So get long from the twist to the top of the head, heave your heart up, spread the back wide. Two more breath here. One more breath here. 
When you're ready, releasing out, finding final relaxation, Shavasana. Um, so maybe this hour that you just took with me was the first time you've took some time to yourself today. Maybe you're really, really busy trying to figure out what to do to help your business stay afloat during this time. Keep your kids entertained or both. Maybe you're trying to take care of other ones, loved ones. Make sure you take some time every day for you. Something that will help you feel better. Maybe it's a walk. Maybe it's a great yoga class, bike ride. Maybe you just sit and read a book. But take that time that you need because you will come back better for others when you're better for you. So with all these tools that we have, Zoom, which has been awesome, and I'd like to thank the people that made it easy for us to get up quickly, bring you classes. It can be a little more interactive, but I find that hard to teach a class when everyone's kind of breaking in. So this is the best way I've found to do it so far. But with all these great tools like Instagram, Facebook, FaceTiming people, still connecting with people, waving from afar, we are starting to miss that contact, the hug of a dear friend. I haven't seen my mother face to face in over two weeks. I've seen her through the window. We've seen her on FaceTime. We've done a couple of Zoom webinars, me and my whole family, but I haven't had that one-on-one -on -one contact. And I'm noticing I'm even doing it with my daughter, not giving her all the hugs I normally would or a kiss I normally would just out of cautiousness. And I really did not realize how much I would miss those little interactions. But you do. So make sure you reach out to those ones that you love. I'm gonna give my father an extra call tonight, try to talk him through how to do a, a Zoom meeting so that he can join in for the Zoom Seder family is doing on Wednesday night. I think we got about 10 different families all going to zoom in together. It should be about, I don't know, 30 or 40 of us all together, maybe a few more. And I think it will help in the short term. We'll get to see each other. We'll get to do the prayers that we've always done together. We get to be together like we are every year. But it might also remind us that we aren't together this year. So we're doing a little mini Seder. Both my daughters are coming to me and then we're zooming in with everyone. And most families, their kids are coming to them and they're zooming in together. So we'll kind of have a hybrid where we do get to see a few of the ones we love and then we get to see everyone we love on. Let's bring some attention back to our fingers and our toes, giving them a wiggle. Pull the knees into the chest when you're ready and give them a hug and then push to a seated position facing the front of the room. Hands come into prayer at heart center. So we are a close group here at Village Yoga and lots of people take time and have coffee with each other, talk with each other, give each other a hug, hello, check on each other daily. And this has been a little strain. So make sure you keep connecting with each other and keep coming back and seeing me and Allison and the rest of the gang here. Um, we're working hard to continue to bring you content. I think we're over 50 streaming on-demand videos now. Hey, take it on demand. Some of you 6 a.m.ers that I miss seeing so much. I am. All right, thumbs come to the third eye as we bow forward. Namaste. Everyone have a great week. Do have a normal schedule this week. I will not be open on Wednesday night. I am doing that Seder I talked about. If you're celebrating a holiday this weekend, happy holidays to you. Everyone take care of yourself. I hope we can see each other again soon. Till next time, namaste. All right, guys, thanks everyone. We had a